Hi, Holistic Travel Nurse here, Naomi. In this video, I'm gonna be going over kidney health. And um, as a full-time dialysis nurse, um, um, I have lots to talk about with that. So maybe you might do a two-part series. It's gonna be part one, and then I'll do another one, part two. Um, I kind of finished up reading a book called um, The Miracle Kidney Cleanse. Really good book, I appreciate everything that um, the author wrote in there. Um, there are some things that I think are highly important. I don't think we think about our kidney function and our kidney health. Um, I'm outside, so <laughs> you can see I'm kind of sweaty in my face, and that's my little house on wheels behind me. I'm not the greatest view, but um, it is uh, June 2018, and I was trying to think of the date. <laughs> and it is warm here in Alabama where I'm at. Um, and so, no, so let's just share some of this book with you. Let's share some with, um, if you are struggling with kidney issues, um, let's talk about it. And if you, um, you know, this book will talk about a good cleanse. There are some really great things in here. She talked about the Chinese, um, the Chinese thought of kidneys and that was in the front. It's really quite helpful. Um, identifying the symptoms of kidney toxicity, meaning that I think it's more or less you have more toxins than you, your kidneys have. Um, so, um, but she says kidney disease, kidney stones, dialysis, even if you're not dealing with these specific conditions, um, the kidney cleanse is for you. I absolutely agree. I have ran, I have taken care of more people that said if I only knew how I could, should have taken care of myself and my kidneys functions earlier, I would have done it. And so this video is for all of you because um, I've dialyzed hundreds of people said if, if only so I don't have to be hooked up to this machine and super sick um, so um, so um, she says take a look if you have kidney stones you have a kidney issue if you have um, frequent UTIs you have a kidney issue if you have chronic um, bladder infections, UTIs, those are issues. Bone, poor bone health, poor um, lymphatic flow, drain, edema, bone, um, conditions of your bone marrow, um, hearing loss, wearing in the ears, dark brown, black circles under your eyes, lack of drive or low energy, social anxiety, ADHD, ADDD, low sex drive, infertility, um, thinning skin, weak nails, foggy nails, low back pain, um, low energy, edema, water, excess water gain, terrible imbalance, clumsy feeling, um, fear, poor health conditions, thinning hair, menstrual com um, um, complications. These are all indications of less than optimal kidney function. Um, and you have a potential risk to increase your um, kidney problems. And kidney disease can be a slow progressive thing you don't even know you have. And it can not even show up almost where it's a concern, concern in labs. And sometimes it, I don't, I've never, never heard it from a doctor like on my, in my life where they go, oh, well, we should talk about your, we should be, be concerned with your kidneys. Not until they almost get bad on, oh, maybe you should do a cleanse. Never, because they're not trained that way. They're trained, most of them just trained, if they're um, a medical physician, they're going to train just um, pharmaceutically how to handle you. So, um, and that's one of the things that are at risk. If you uh, take a lot of medications, you're at risk for doing um, harm to your kidneys. So she talks about really good thing in preparing for a cleanse and, um, and then some things that are great for it. Like if you, like I'm in the South, everybody drinks tea out here. So um, add your black tea with some dandelion tea. You're gonna be doing some good with your kidneys. Um, she also talks about corn, um, corn silk, um, and then I, I really highly think that like everyone should do weaning cleanse, but a three-day um, juice fast and a juice feast is what she calls it. And I really, really, I've, we've done them, and I want to do one again. I think they're, and I can see bugs flying right behind me. That was a wasp. <laughs> um, that there, that are something that all of us need to be doing to maintain our health, because at the age of 35 to 40, your nephrons inside your kidneys um, decrease how well they function. So it's another reason to be doing a cleanse of some sort. Um, let's go skimming through more of this. 
I'm a really, uh, there's a whole section, I'll, I'll have to do that maybe separately, on how does stress affect your body generally and the adrenaline glands and how did that it tie in with your kidneys. She does a, a pretty good job discussing that in the book. So if you want to, you can go get this book. There's some things in here that she is missing, in my opinion, in doing a cleanse, and I will talk about those. I really loved that um, the target specific foods because if you're in the early stages and you're a diabetic, you should be eating more alkaline foods anyways as you have diabetes. And you're like, okay, well, what's, everyone's talking alkaline. Oh, I'm just getting that alkaline water. That's not enough. If you're eating a really um, fast food and processed food diet, you are doing damage to your kidneys. So foods that are top al um, alkalizing are um, green leafy vegetables, oat, wheat, barley, and your essential um, fatty acids like flax, chai seeds, hemp, olives, nuts, seeds, avocados are also incredibly great for you. Pure water, people, pure water. Um, I couldn't, everybody is getting into that and everyone's drinking, well, I drink bottled water. Well, be careful with that too because well, before that bottle gets to you, it's been heated up, processed back and forth, and there's some leaking chemicals. So I'd rather you almost get it from your tap and buy it some kind of filtration system. You're going to get better water um, to get a filtration system. Um, um, and table salt, really bad for you. Switch, or you'll see a video I did just on Himalayan um, sea salt. I have a video on that. Um, you can see that link below. And then... Um, um, Oh boy, what else was I gonna say in here? Oh, she goes to this whole section on salt, which is pretty good, and how it's in everything and when you watch it. Okay, kidney superfoods though. Let's talk about those, because kidney superfoods that are extremely good for you. Um, this is not ones that are my friends that are already on dialysis. No, stick to the renal diet, you have to. Um, but those that are in um, a state where they're watching their kidneys or you're not say you just watching your health okay these are superfoods that are, are going to help you um apple cider vinaigrette raw unpasteurized um it's where you want to be taking um a teaspoon of it um and uh those are extremely helpful sorry messages go across my screen and when i get some messages and i got sidetracked um asparagus i love asparagus and it and you know it has a diuretic effect on the body it helps rem it helps your body remove chemicals um it's very very good for you beets so um beet juice i cannot speak highly enough of beet juice if you already have on the attendance of a high blood pressure start incorporating beet juice in your life um it's super impactful for you black tartar cherries very good for you cayenne cayenne pepper um, is um, antioxidant also great for the kidneys celery so another thing if you juice if you're making it I highly suggest if you're gonna juice that those are the things that you need to put in your juice celery and beets um, cranberries is something that if you have kidney stones stay away from cucumbers flaxseed um, lemons parsley peppermint leaf potato juice turmeric and watermelon um, kidney frooms that are really good. There's a lot of other foods. Pomegranates, blueberries, um, fiber foods that are high in um, fiber. So your apples that are really great for you. Um, tomatoes, watermelon, parsley, asparagus, cabbage. Um, all those type of things that are really good for you. Um, and from the traditional Chinese medicine, she said, the black foods like black walnuts, black mushrooms, black sesame seeds, and black maca. Really cool. Um, I've actually, I don't think I've ever eaten black maca. I don't even know what it is. Um, she said that's really good for you, but some people um, that follow more of a paleo, then they need to be careful. If you're following a um, low carb diet or keto diet, you could be doing some harm because breaking down all that protein it can be harmful in your kidneys. So you want to talk to your doctor and have your labs checked before you go on that. And then yes, go on it, but it realize don't do it for life. You want to have, you need to have, we need to have more fruits and vegetables and more vegetables in our life, period. Um, and if you have a hard time eating them, then that's why you can juice them or I'm going to talk about supplements. And um, you can see here where I, um, in other videos I have where about lifelong vitality supplements, which have 12 fruits and vegetables in them. So that those are getting a good source to help your kidneys. The cool thing is the things that are weakening your kidneys are carbonated 
beverages. A 2007 um, study of Institute of Health um, linked carbonated beverages to diabetes, high blood sugar, kidney stones. So that is really important. Sodium, the wrong type of sodium, table salt, um, increases calcium in the urine. This is bad. Artificial sweeteners found very hard on the kidneys. Caffeine, caffeine and black tea actually could be um, hard on the kidneys. Um, chocolate and soda. So that's why I'm try hibiscus tea. It's really good. Try passion tea. Um, switch to green tea. It's a little bit better for you. Animal protein. Yes, that eating a lot of animal protein is hard on your kidneys. They have to break that down. Alcohol, dairy, <clears throat> um, high fructose corn syrup or um, sugar period is can be hard on the kidneys. Um, you know what the other big thing that she says in this book, which I absolutely agree with, is conventional um, protein powders. If people are like bulking up and working out and adding way too much protein powder, um, they often, she says, they often have such and such as MSG and other things in there which are hard on your kidneys. Um, further testing of 15 different protein powders consumed, we report in this 2010 revealed that many of these potential toxic levels of candom, arsenic, lead, and mercury. Ooh. And heavy metals are extremely hard on your kidneys. Creatine, which everyone was taking, can be hard on your kidneys. So if you want to, um, she talks about, she has really good recipes for, for some juices. And so that's helpful. But there are, seems to be Pinterest and tons of places with incredible cleanse recipes. I've done those. Um, I have some of my own. I tried to make up my own V8 and it didn't turn out great with my juicer when I um, did a cleanse. Um, and then she brought in a couple Chinese herbs. Milk thistle also being incredibly important um, for your liver, also great for your kidneys too, and a couple other things. Um, and then the castor oil packs, if you don't know about those. Um, and then the importance of de-stressing and um, adrenaline. Oh, goodness, there's so much more. And then there's a whole section on kidney stones. I think I'll do a video just on kidney stones. Now, uh, things that I would add to this book, if I, when I do my three-day cleanse, because I do a three-day cleanse, I take care of my kidneys. Um, I know what I do with my patients. I know how hard it is to be on dialysis. I know how hard it is to not have proper functioning kidneys. I know after my husband and I both have done the cleanse, we feel amazing afterwards. Um, so we add a lemon essential oils help. Um, I use Duterres, and if you're not familiar with them, you can email me and I will can send you some more information about them. I answer every single one of my emails. It has a supplemental fact, so this one I can take orally. I wouldn't use anybody else's, but it has a thing called lime amine in there. It helps remove toxins. Really. Um, key, I add it to my juices when I juice anyways. You can see some of my juicing videos. And then another one, um, really important one, is Zendocrine. Zendocrine is the detox blend in helping your kidneys and your liver remove toxins, okay? We, our body makes some of the own toxins and some of the things that we, that are harmful just in breaking down food. And the other is just we're exposed to environmental or the biggest, biggest key, if you're gonna do a cleanse, is to stop eating some of the crappy food. Really, really make it a key to um, plan out your meal so you're not eating pro so much processed food. And um, eliminating toxins that you don't even know you have in your house. Um, linked below, though, um, I will have some of the videos that I haven't done, but other people have done possibly on toxins. You're like, what is a toxin and what are you talking about? Um, and I will link those all below. I thank you for watching. Please email me at holistictravelnurse at gmail.com. I do answer all my emails and I would love to help you get started on your kidney cleanse today.